Harrison Ford was born on July 13, 1942 at the Swedish Covenant Hospital in Chicago, Illinois to Christopher and Dorothy Ford. Harrison battled with shyness right from an early age. He attended the Maine East High School in Park Ridge, Illinois, where he was a lackluster student. He was never an athletic star and never rose above a C average. When he graduated from Maine East High School in 1960, Harrison attended Ripon College in Wisconsin, where he accidentally discovered an interesting acting. He then took a drama class to overcome his shyness. He said, and I quote, I was terrified to get up in front of people, but I really enjoyed the storytelling part. Harrison wasn't the best student in college, so he dropped out of Ripon College and became fascinated with acting. He applied for a job in radio voiceovers, but couldn't get it. He signed a contract with Columbia Pictures' new talent program, where he played bit roles in films like Being a Bellboy. Harrison struggled for years as an actor, playing minor roles in television series, and that was all he was, minor. Harrison felt discouraged and quit the film industry to begin a career in professional carpentry. He was able to support his wife and two sons with his carpentry skills. However, four years later, Harrison decided to try once again to return to the acting, and boom! His return marked the beginning of his success in the movie industry. He featured as Bob Falfa in 1973's American Graffiti, which brought him fame. Four years after that, Harrison hit superstardom with the role of Han Solo in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, in 1977. After another four years, Harrison was Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981 at its sequels, which were all monster successes. Four years later, Harrison featured as John Books in Witness in 1985, which earned him the Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations. He earned another Golden Globe nomination for his role as Dr. Richard Kimball in The Fugitive in 1993. Harrison enjoyed leading roles in numerous Hollywood films like Blade Runner, Witness, Working Girl, Patriot Games, The Fugitive, and 42, among many others. In 2015, Harrison reprised his famed Han Solo role in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Presently, Harrison is undoubtedly a well-established Hollywood superstar because he never gave up on his quest for success. Harrison's favorite quote was, We all have big changes in our lives that are more or less a second chance. Remember that no matter how long and dark, there will always be light at the end of every tunnel. Thomas Edison said, Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. If you're going through tough times as you watch this video, I tell you, you can't tell how close you are to the success you've been fighting for. One of the days in February 2016, I wanted to sleep at night when an idea dropped in my mind. I had been in the business world for more than seven years without any success. Yet, I knew this idea would change my life forever. The following day, I was out trying to reach out to people who can partner with me on my new idea. One year later, I was already above most people who thought my life was a mess. Listen again. You can't tell how close you are to your success if you decide to give up now. You might lose the gold ahead of you. Albert Hubert said, A little more persistence, a little more effort, and what seemed hopeless failure may turn to glorious success. Try once more, and if you fail, try a little more. And if you keep on trying, you might soon get the gold you've been searching for. Woody Hayes says, Paralyze resistance with persistence. Just as Harrison Ford went back to try acting again after several failures, get back to work and start pursuing your dreams all over again. If you like this video, do subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when we publish our next videos. Also, like this video or share it with your friends on social media. Thank you. We love you.